9.2 in your lab book uh, is something that you will do in lab. You will look at underneath the microscope one field of view. All right, so what we're going to look at is actually an onion root. All right, so the root of an onion, which theoretically is going through mitosis uh, very quickly as it is going to be replicating cells so they can grow, right? That's the whole point is growth, really, when we're talking about mitosis. Uh, and so let's imagine that this is underneath your microscope. This is also the picture straight from your lab book, FYI. Um, but what you're going to do in lab is you're actually going to be identifying each cell and you're going to be counting them. Uh, you are going to be counting a a lot of cells um, as an individual, and then we're gonna pool them as an entire class where your whole class will probably be counting thousands of cells. Um, and remember, more data means better data, hopefully. Right? Less error. <laughs> Less right? error, yes. Less likely to bias your sample. <laughs> right. um, so as we look at this, right, you can see, um, similar to the pictures that are actually on the page next to this in your lab book, um, you can actually see what's going on in the nucleus in quite a few of these. Right? So there are a lot of them in this picture that look kind of like this. Right? This is a cell that really looks like it's doing nothing. Right, which is identified as an interphase cell. Now remember, interphase really isn't doing any, nothing, right? It's really very, very busy. It's just the nucleus looks boring, so it's often been referred to as the resting phase, which is a joke. A cell is so busy right now. Very busy. Right? Um, but once it goes through and enters into mitosis, right, the cells duplicate their DNA during interphase, which is also not visible underneath the microscope. Uh, it's not really visible until we enter prophase. Um, so in prophase, you can start to see the nuclear envelope disappear and the chromosomes start to condense. All right, so I think like this one here, uh, I'm going to argue, is in an early stage of prophase, right? It's starting to see the bundling of the chromosomes. Nuclear envelope is still there, and then it kind of progresses, right? It progresses into could um, be a late stage prophase, yep. early pro metaphase, and then this I would argue is definitely like in pro metaphase, metaphase. Um, where the nuclear envelope is totally gone. The chromosomes are condensed up on each other, and they're kind of arranging like blobs in the center of the cell. Um, what is very obvious to me is that when the cells really line up their chromosomes right in the middle of that metaphase plate for metaphase. Um, so during metaphase, the chromosomes line up in the center. Remember something not visible here is the centrosomes and the spindle fibers. Those are um, with our microscopes. We can't see that. Uh, that would need a much better microscope than CLC gives me. <laughs> um, so metaphase lining up in the middle. Then what you can also really physically see uh, during anaphase is that the chromosomes then pull apart. So remember the sister chromatids separate from each other and then you have single chromosomes that would be on either side of the cell. Uh, so during anaphase, that's when we have a separation. Now the other thing that will happen, which is not in this picture, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this here. Um, telophase is going to represent the actual like beginning to form of two nuclei on either side of, in the onion, a cell plate. Uh, so you can physically see the cell plate form here. Remember, the cell plate is kind of the beginning of what will be two cell walls that'll form to separate these two cells. In animals, you will not see that, right? Animals don't have a cell plate. They will go through find it, a cleavage furrow. Um, basically, like right here, you can kind of see that there's an indentation of these cells in what is telophase of an animal cell. Um, so animal cells don't have the cell wall, right? They don't have to go through the process to build a whole new cell plate. They can just kind of snip in the middle ish. Right? Um, so in class, all right, again, you would be counting all of these cells and then sharing with your group and uh, adding the whole classes together and then figuring out approximately how long it takes to go through mitosis. So one of the generalizations we make is that in most eukaryotes, the cell cycle of mitosis takes about 24 hours. So if the cell is going to reproduce, then it takes about 24 hours to do that. Um, so if we look at the table that we have in our lab book, all right, we have um, the cells that you're gonna be counting, all right, then you're gonna put that with your group, and then you're gonna have to do a little bit of mathematics. All right, so if we, I move this down a little bit, um, if we assume that your this entire cycle takes 24 hours. So from gap one all the way through the end of cytokinesis, it takes 24 hours. Then we can take 24 times the number of cells that will count, right? So again, as a class, you would count a pretty big number, right? Because prophase, or sorry, interphase is gonna take the longest because interphase is like forever. <laughs> it takes a while. 
What? You want me to write in? Please? Yeah, we don't have to do that right now. Um, so you total, right? Then the whole class will total. And then you will calculate by taking the number of cells from interface times 24. And then you'll divide by the total, which we didn't do. So you'll have to do that. It's fine. <laughs> like, add total, these add them numbers together. together to get the total. I have confidence that you are able to get a total number. Uh, and then you will make that for interphase. Then you do the same thing for prophase, prometaphase, metaphase. You do it for all of them using the number of cells that's counted. Uh, and that gives you a number of about how long it takes. And that shows us approximately how long uh, it takes for all of them. Now this should then total up to, which I think Liz is writing right now, 24 hours, give or take a point, because rounding errors will happen. Um, so mitosis takes about 24 hours. We can estimate that based upon looking at one sample of tissue that we know is actively reproducing.